heart is a blow Shoots up through the stony ground There's no room No space to win in this town You're out of luck on your first day of school. <laughs> no, no, she's not. Oh, okay. Let's go check on the FP. Can you do your hair? Hey, you doing, bud? Do you need help? You need help, Luke? Everybody get in.
This is Grace on our first day to school. Remember the moment, you know exactly where you're going, cause the next moment before you know what time is slow, and then it's frozen still, and the window still looks really nice, right? You think twice about your life, it probably happens at night, right? Fight it, take the pain, ignite it, tie a noose around your mind, loose enough to breathe, fine and tie it to a tree, tell it you belong to me, this ain't a noose, this is a leash. I love you. you have I've always believed that America is not just a country. It's an idea. Uh, it's a dream that belongs to the whole world. Uh, now I know in recent times, the world has been reminded that America is an idea that doesn't even belong to a lot of Americans. Mm -hmm. And that for many black yes. Americans, Lady Liberty's torch is far from a beacon of hope. It's often a flashlight in the face. Now there were storm clouds over Dublin when you two recorded Beautiful Day. Things were not as they might have been. Um, but the song was not a description of where we were at. It was a prayer for where we could go. And a dream, like America's a dream of what might be. We now know that America is a song yet to be written that the America might be the greatest song the world has never heard. It's a wild thought that America is yet to exist. And even wilder that the class of 2020 may be the very people to bring it into being. After 244 years striving for freedom, sometimes marching, sometimes protesting, sometimes on your knees, sometimes taking the knee, you get there. You get there. Good I don't morning, know Good morning, Grace. What grade are you going into? You. Are you looking forward to it? You can vault yes, you the barricades of bigotry. And with your vote, you can Hello. dismantle institutions that uphold that bigotry and are in your way. You can enter America. You can enter America. We will all enter with you. But it's going to be you. It's going to be a beautiful day. The heart is a bloom shoots up through the stony ground. There's no room, no space to rent in this town. You're out of love, and the reason that you had to care, the traffic is stuck. You're not moving anywhere. Praise You got no destiny. 
glacier, you're in the mud. In the maze of her imagination, you love this town. Even if that doesn't mean truly you've been all over. It's been our love. First day of seventh grade for Grace. Eat on your first day. See the world in green and blue. See China right in front of you. See the canyons broken by a cloud. Good morning. High school Winfield. is going to be painful in one of two ways. That's the bad news. It's going to be painful in one of two ways. The good news is you get to choose your pain. So one pain, one kind of pain that you can experience is the pain of regret. Where you go in and you don't take it seriously. You don't really apply yourself early on figure out how to, how to do well in the classroom. And you can look back a little bit later as a junior, as a senior. We see a lot of this. We see juniors and seniors that come through and go, man, I wish I would have. That's the pain of regret. The other kind of pain that you could choose for yourself is the pain of just One day we're going to be watching this and we'll be like, oh, so cute. The pain of doing homework. The pain of really applying yourself in the classroom. And that kind of pain is really painful. It really is suffering. But when you get to your junior year and your senior year, and you realize the doors that are open to you, you will actually be able to walk through things and have opportunities that you wouldn't have had otherwise. And so I want you to know that high school is going to be hard, not in a bad way. We kind of call it the word awfulsome, which is a combination of the word awful and awesome. So it's awfulsome, it's hard, it's difficult, and it should be. It's also awesome. But I want you guys, as you come in as freshmen, okay. We're going to high school. as you cross that 12 foot bridge, as you come in as freshmen, to take the academic the academic challenge seriously. Because it follows you, it follows you in college, college, college. Hello, class of 2020. My name is Grace, so, and I'm running for some more classes. You, one thing I want you to hopefully remember, but it's going to choose your pain, either the pain of regret or the pain of discipline. And I'm encouraging you to choose the pain of discipline, all right? I think all the adults in the room, we know this, we've lived this, we've seen this, and we want you to learn it early. So adults in the room, you know your student. And if right now you know 100% chance that they heard nothing that I just said, you know that, then please be prepping them, reinforcing that message. Help them to understand that before they enter the first day of high school. Help them to understand what's at stake. And uh, drill down on them those first, first weeks and months of high school. It is going to be important. Again, high school is awesome, but it counts differently. There aren't the number of do-overs. It carries with them all the way through college and into career. Now I'm going to pray for you, and then I'm going to present for you. And as I pray for you, parents, in your own, in the silence of your own hearts, I hope that you'd be praying for them as well. So it's not just my prayer on the microphone, but our prayer for a living God who really hears us, who created these, these young men and young women, who has dreams and hopes for their lives, who understands what's at stake, and who can um, agree with what our prayer is as we pray for them. So I'm going to pray for you, we're going to pray for you, and we'll present you. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I'm going to pause right now and just acknowledge the goodness of being your children. Before we rush out of here into summer and before we catapult into next year and all that it has in high school, all the awful, awfulsomeness of high school, Lord, and all that's at stake, God, we want to pause and say thank you for what you've done already. Thank you for these young men and young women. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for your image that you have given to them. Thank you how you've developed them. Thank you for the gifts and the talents and the quirkiness and the humor or the intelligence, the athleticism, all of the things that you have packed into them. Some of those things have been discovered. Some are still totally a mystery for us. And Lord, you know all the potential that is there. You know all that you've dreamed of and are dreaming of for them. And so we pray that even this summer, all the investment that these awesome teachers have made in their lives would not be wasted, would not be in vain, all the investment that these parents have made in their lives would not be in vain, but those things would continue to grow, to cultivate, continue to develop, 
that they continue to become the men and the women that you're dreaming of them, of dreaming them becoming, or the things that you want for them. Not the things that we want, but that you want, God. And I pray that we would walk alongside you in agreement as parents, as brothers and sisters, as friends, as uncles, as aunts, as educators, as staff, as heads of schools, that we would play our part to agree with you in your plan for their life, Lord. And I pray that they would take this step from middle school to high school in stride, without fear, but with reverence, and that in high school you do this work of growing confidence in them, helping them to understand their vocational trajectory, God, and being able to help them be confident in their faith, Lord. May they wrestle with their faith in high school and come out on the other side knowing you, trusting you, and walking with you. Lord, we thank you for their lives. We thank you for this year. We thank you for this faculty. We thank you for these students. It's in the strong name of Christ that we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, students, I'd like for you to stand and face your parents. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you the class of 2020. Congratulations on finishing high school. I know you're gonna do so well in college and I'm really excited to hear about it and to be able to visit you. Uh, I miss you so much already and I love you. Hey Grace, congratulations. We've all made it through so much and we've come so far. We love you so much and good luck in Colorado for college. You're gonna do great things. Hey Grace, I just wanted to say it's been a super fun past four years. Definitely getting to know you a lot more this year. <laughs> and going to Mexico and everything and I know you're going to do great things in Colorado or no matter where you go and I can't wait to see how it all turns out for you. I wish you the best. Go Rams! Hi Grace, um, congrats on graduating high school. I'm super proud of you and I'm super glad we were able to be friends and hang out for the past few years of high school. Um, I know you're going to continue to do amazing things in college and have fun at Colorado State. Congratulations on graduating, Grace. I'm gonna miss you so much next year, and I loved being able to throw with you for the past, like, two years. Um, the throw team is not gonna be the same without you, and we're all gonna miss you so much. Congratulations, Grace, you did it. You made it through all four years. I'm so proud of you for how far you've come, and I can't wait to see that all God has in store for you as you go to Colorado next year. Good luck, and I'm always here for you. Love you. Hi Grace, I just wanted to say congratulations on graduating and I'm so thankful for all the time that we've gotten to spend together in high school and all the memories that we've made. Um, I pray that you have an amazing time at college and that you just thrive and that we get to stay in touch. So congratulations, I love you. Hi Grace, I just want to say congratulations on graduation and making it in into CSU. I'm so proud of you, I'm so happy for you, and I know that anything that you do there is going to be great because you're going to thrive. Hey Grace, I just wanted to say that I'm so proud of you, and I know that you're going to do great things in college and in life. Thank you for being a great friend for these past years since kindergarten. I love you so much, and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for you. Hello. Hi Grace. I miss you. I'm so proud of you. I am excited to see you growing up as a young woman. I remember when you were a little tiny freshman walking into my class being a total dork and uh, laughing at everything I said because I'm obviously really funny. But I'm super proud of you. I see Brenna right here growing up as a little kid. I hope and I would be very blessed if she's anything like you. Uh, you have a wonderful family. Um, you're going to do very well in Colorado. Uh, we're excited just as a family to see you. Just be wonderful young women. Seek the Lord and He will continue to love you and take care of you. I hope all is well. I hope to see you soon before you go off to Colorado. Peace, love, and mercy. Hey Grace, I'm so proud of you. You know I'm your biggest fan. And I'm really gonna miss you when you go off to Colorado. I really, really am. But it's okay because I cannot wait to see what great things you do over there because you work so hard. You're so incredible and I just love you so much. Thank you for everything you do. Grace, congratulations, 4.0. Linfield, woohoo! You're off to the big leagues. Congratulations, love you, girl. I love you, Grace. You are the best. Good luck at Colorado. I'm just so proud of you, bye. 
Congratulations, Grace. It's an honor to be able to celebrate your graduating class of 2020. Go Linfield and good luck at Colorado State University. Congrats, Grace. Very proud of you. Can't believe you're going to Colorado. You've worked so hard for this. We are so proud of you. You deserve every moment of happiness. We hope you enjoy your high school graduation and off to college where some of the best years of your life are gonna be. We love you. Congratulations, GRB. Congratulations, Grace, on graduating. May God bless you on your new journey. Congratulations, Grace, class of 2020. Good luck in Colorado. Love you. Hey Grace, good luck at college next year. I'm really gonna miss you as much as I joke about not missing you. I really will. And I'm glad that we've been able to share some of our best memories, including some of the best here at this house. And I know you're gonna do great things in the future and I love you and I'll miss you. Hi Grace, it's mom. Here we are where we began at Sunshine Preschool when you were five. You were the little girl who had to be pulled out of my arms kicking and screaming because she didn't want to go to school and now look at you, ready to take on the world at college. I'm so incredibly proud of you. I can't wait to see what the future holds. You're going to kill it. I love you baby girl. Grace, uh, what can we say? Uh, we've watched you grow and walk through this journey from preschool to elementary school here at Rancho, middle school, eventually going to Linfield. And we know that that was the, the best place for you. You've done incredibly well. We're so proud of all your accomplishments at Linfield. And now as you end this journey, we're even more proud to wish you the best and to walk with you through your next journey. So congratulations at Colorado State. Good luck, have the time of your life. We're always here for you. We love you and all our best. Bye. Love you, babe.